Let's take a look at this Activia yogurt under the microscope. We'll dilute it with some water so it's easy to view. Bacteria is extremely small, so we gotta zoom in. Nope, even more than this. Here we are. Now, what you see floating are probiotics, also known as good bacteria. As seen, there are several different shapes, sizes, and variations. This is because the bacteria found in yogurt can be rod-shaped or spherical, and they can exist as single cells, pairs, chains, or even as massive clumps rolling around. Now, the type of bacteria that yogurt can contain is Lactobacillus, Bifidobacterium, or Streptococcus. Rest assured, the type that causes streptococcal infections is different from this strain. But how do we know these bacteria are alive and not just dead floating around with the current? If we look closer, we can see they have a slight twitch motion called bacterial motility, which is simply just the way they move. However, not all bacterial species are able to move. Yogurt usually has about four different species or more of bacteria, but regardless of the type, they are all considered good bacteria and aid in digestion, boost your immune system, and maintain homeostasis in your gut. But in order to reap the benefits, a sufficient amount needs to be consumed. Thanks for watching.